Ooh. <laughs> what's happening for him? <laughs> hey, what's up? It's me again. I just got back from the doctor. I'm pretty sure they gave me meth, so I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. We're here to do a Street Fighter 6 tier list today because, you know what? More tier list, baby. They keep getting views. We're going to keep on doing them. So why not? It's fun for me. Anyway, Ryu. Ryu is an interesting character because I feel like he's he's one of two things, right? Ryu is either the one person you face online that's going to be the decimator of your dreams. He destroys you. He completely eradicates your soul. Every fiber of hope you had of getting yourself to the next level, the next rank, destroyed because this man, the person behind the controller, knows every combination, every button press to the most extreme extent, perfectly. <laughs> it's like he trained in a Shaolin monk temple to get this thing right, yeah? Or, or he knows Hadouken and Shuryuken. Those are the only two moves he knows. It's it's no in between with Ryu. Those are the only two things I ever see with Ryu. He's fun, he's cool, but for those reasons, I'm gonna put him right there in the middle. I think I'm gonna put him in B. I think he belongs in B. How does that sound? B to start. Boom, divorce, baby. It's Luke. And Luke is pretty much this game's new Ryu, right? And I think he honestly has more utility than Ryu. I like Luke a lot. From his awesome moveset, like his frame one level one, to being voiced by Alex Lee, to the Popeye forearms. I like him a lot. And quite frankly, like I said before, better utility than Ryu with a lot of the same kind of flow to him. So I think he really belongs nowhere else aside from A. Let's put him right there. Jamie. Ah, uh, poor guy. I want to like Jamie a lot. And I do like Jamie a lot. But the problem with Jamie is that you put in maximum, the same effort that I told you with Ryu, right? Put that all in. But instead of like just decimating your, your opponent, you do like a 30 hit combo. You do like 10% damage unless you're drunk. So Jamie is a tough one. I mean, character is cool. His theme, you know, I don't even think I did that theme right. Jamie. Poor guy, I'm, I'm putting him in C. His utility is low. You don't see him played very often. You really want to root for him, but he's just like, he's hurting, Aww. he's hurting good. Chun-Li. Chun-Li is another cool one that also has little utility because like the few people that, it feels like everyone that plays Chun-Li is like climbing this, they're, they're, they're on this uphill battle, right? Because they're really putting in so much effort and you're like, oh, poor thing, poor baby, you know? as you completely destroy them. <laughs> it's just like, oh, well. You lost yeah. the match, didn't you? chun Li is probably another C, quite frankly. She's she's not great. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love her, but she's not great. Guile. Guile is, <sighs> he hurts, you know? What I mentioned before with Ryu, with the whole thing of like, you got characters that know how to do like the Hadouken and Shuryuken, his is worse. He has a Cyclone kick, which is a 30, 360 kick that hits you from everywhere. And then, you got that stupid little thing he does where he gets that little projectile in front of him and it leads to the scenario where you cannot approach this man. He also has tiny T-Rex arms so he keeps his arms like right next to his face. It's cool though. I like Guile as a character, but the way people play him is so upsetting. I hate it. I wish you'd stop. So all that means he belongs in A. And I should mention here, right? I am not the best Street Fighter player as you can probably tell. Uh, don't look at this list and say like, oh, this is the character I should be playing. Not necessarily. Don't take any advice from me. Grain of salt. Grain of salt. Kimberly. Kimberly, I think, out of this roster is the only character I have not played. For that reason alone, I'm going to be pretty, you know, whatever with her. I think I'm going to put her in B for now, just because I don't really know much about her. I haven't played much with her. Jury. So now is the time you guys know that I'm a foot fa I mean, a jury main. Jury is currently my top played character by far as well. I think she's a lot of fun. I think she has a lot of utility, and I think she has the most compatible play style of me being super aggressive. And you you could you have a lot of different options with her that I think a lot of these other characters maybe don't have quite the same attraction to me. For that reason, and the simple fact that a lot of people have been playing her online as this kind of monster. S tier baby. Right in S. Ken. <laughs> Where do I start with Ken? So if you've been watching my streams, you'll know that I face a lot of Kens. And if you know that, then you know I fucking hate facing Ken. I I'm keeping my word. If I lost this one, I'm, I'm done. Okay, one more. Ken is overwhelmingly like the most popular character in this game. I wish you all would play somebody else and stop with the Hadouken sure you can combo. I move up to you. I expect you to hit the Hadouken and I want to go with a foot dive and you hit the sure you can and I have to go all the way back to the other side and I have to go all the way back again for only for you to I hate Ken. Um, He's still really good though. And quite frankly, I think he is a better Ryu in this game. 
He's got that one crazy combo into his level two that I see every Ken player do, and it always kind of astonishes me with just like how smoothly that goes. I think I really can't find it to put him anywhere else aside from A, so we'll put him in A. Lanka. Lanka is another really cool one with, I think, arguably the most utility or versatility in the game for the simple fact that like, you really can't predict what a Blanca is gonna do a lot of the time. The only thing I can ever say a Blanca is gonna do like 90% uh, of the time, he's gonna start with Blanca Ball. He's gonna rush into you with Blanca Ball. Aside from that, who who the hell knows? Crazy things, right? First of all, Blanca Ball. Second of all, that one move that he has that's also an anti-aerial where he drops his face into the fucking floor and he looks like a dimwit. The other move that I, I, I see little people use, but the people that do know how to use it, drive me nuts it's that one little rush dive he does where he like gets both of his arms up the woman just falls over and just like slides across the entire goddamn screen that's a little annoying also that lunge grab that lunge grab is insane great character a lot of fun very fun to play against he puts a little he puts a silly little grin on my face every time i see him block a move he does a little a little shimmy he wins a game he does a little shimmy it's, it's you know it's good stuff and you know what and you know what i'm playing blanca in s baby He's going an S. Dulcim. Uh, okay. Dulcim is a funny one because like, man, I play a little bit of Dulcim and I only ever play him to, to troll people. I think it's the funniest thing to hit that teleport the button the second you're about to hit like a level three and you, you can see the rage build up. But bro, he, he's not great, at least in my tier of, of gold. I think I put him in B for the simple fact that I'm pretty sure in higher tiers, he would be considered better. But like the utility you see in gold, Huh, no sir. Edmund Honda, otherwise known as nice sick lap work dipshit. Now check this out. Quite frankly, one of the funniest characters to face up against. Arguably top two alongside Zangief. I can't say I've faced that many Hondas and every time I do, I feel like I end up demolishing. <laughs> it would just be the rank I'm at, I don't know. I don't know how many Edmund Hondas I'd see in the top rank. I don't believe you see too many of them in the first place. For that, I think I'll put him in C. He's still a lot of fun though. He's still cool. DJ. DJ is also another one that I kind of put in the same vein as Blanca for the simple fact that he's got a lot of really cool moves that like you really don't see coming. That flash shot being cancelable is something I learned about recently and it's kind of insane. The fact that he has some combos I feel like I haven't seen any other character do, kind of insane. He's got a lot of utility, he's got a lot of versatility. And quite frankly, I see him played in certain ways that I that throws me off from every user I play against. I think DJ easily goes an S for me. Nice. I see I see him being fantastic and like usually you see him at like top plays. Manon. Oh, okay. So let's talk about this, right? Manon. Whose idea was it? to let her keep her stocks every round. Now, I say this again as a gold player, because I know, I know you you masters and you diamonds are gonna come into the into the fray and you'll be like, Ugh. all you gotta do is like, kick her with your, with your stinky jury feet and you'll be fine. Not easy for me. I suck at this game if you can't tell from this list, I'm sure. I have a hard time with Manon because I play aggressively. So I'm all up in that. Not to mention she has that one like combo that pulls you in by hitting even if you're blocking. So you could be blocking and you think you're perfectly fine because you're like, oh, I'm far away, I'm safe. She pulls you in while you're blocking and she hits you with a 50% stupid grab. That being said, again, I don't think she gets a lot of plays in the top ranks. I could be wrong about that, but I wanna say what, like the idea is like once you know your way against her, like, yeah, she's not that great. I think she's another B for me. I think I'm gonna put her in B. Marisa. I like Marisa a lot, quite frankly. I'll, okay, I'll leave it at this. Playing as her fun, playing against her, not so fun. It's two words. Super armor. Oh my god, does she have super armor? That means that you are going to be in the fight for your life when you don't realize, oh, hey, my drive impact doesn't cancel that. So you're going to get smacked in the face, you're going to get thrown across the screen, you're going to be ragdolled, you're going to be crying, you're going to be asking for your mama. There's going to be so much going wrong. Marisa, she's a cool character. Great idea for a character, I should add. Puts a big old dumb smile on the face every time I see her. So I think I'm going to put her in A. I think like maybe the lowest A out of these, alongside maybe Luke. Um, but I think hey, JP. JP is an interesting one, right? JP, I think when I started playing the game was very common to see. Nowadays, not so much. And here's the reason why. Because in the same vein that you see Guile and Ken and Ryu use these same two move combos, JP will do that a lot as well in this rank. In the higher ranks, I believe he's a lot more usable and you see him do some, some crazy combos, but in gold, he does two things. He does that one grab attack, that pushes you across the screen and then pierce. That is it. And if you do not know how to play against that, it is a nightmare. But if you do know how to play against that, it's a nightmare for him. 
uh, because he's going to lose a match. And most of the time he does. And I think that's why you don't see him very often in those ranks. Ultimately, I got to put JP in C. I, I don't know how he fares in the higher ranks. I don't, I'm not there yet. But, you know, I'm going to put him in C for now. I think that's fair. Zangief. Um, he's probably another C character, isn't he? He is good in my rank. It's like... People don't know how to fight against them. People don't know that he's going to rush towards you and you think like, oh, I'm just going to swat that away. Um, and it turns out he has super armor while he's lunging at you and he just grabs you anyway. Or you could be in the middle of a combo. He just grabs you out of it. Um, once you realize, oh, I could just jump over him and hit him over his stupid head. Um, doesn't work out for him super well. I think he's usually considered like the worst character in the game right now. as like the main grappler of the game. Um, that being said, he's still a monster. Like, C is still average for this game, right? Like, he's still a monster in the right hands. So, yeah. Zangief C. Lily. You don't see a lot of Lilies, but every time you do, man, they're annoying. Lilies really like to fly across the screen a lot to the point where you're like, I don't even know what's going on. They have that crazy grab that they do flying. They have that crazy long reach with their regular grab. Oh, God, it's a nightmare sometimes. I can't do it. That said, I think Lily is cool. Uh, but not as cool as the rest of these characters. I think I'd put her at a low B. She's fine, I think. Cammy, you really see some people pull off some crazy stuff with her. At the same time, you don't see a lot of that crazy stuff working as well as when you pull off some crazy stuff with, for example, DJ or Blunker or Jury. Her mix-up game is insane. You can start a combo in front of somebody and end it behind them, and they won't even realize what the hell hit them. But once you really have her figured out, like once you realize like her arrow attack, her uh, whatever it's called, that woman she spins around, um you can just grab her out of that it's like oh oy, okay there's some things to her i think well there's a lot of times where, where a cameo will catch me off guard and really beat my ass and not to mention here's one thing right I'll, I'll put a little bit higher again this is this is a stupid tier list so cami i love her design in this game design in this fantastic uh great step up cami's a tough one for me because i want to put her like somewhere like high b low a i'm gonna put her in a i'm gonna put her in a low a and the newest addition to this game she when he came out i really hated him i thought he was super annoying to fight against because he throws so much at you and it feels like he's kind of baby mode for some people because a lot of other characters you have to like go from one move to the next and you have to you know you got to keep that progression going up otherwise you lose your combo with Rashid, it felt like you were kind of cheating a bit because he can hold your opponent in the tornado that he spins. And you're just like, oh, you know, what What do I want to do next? Let me, let me think about it. I got a good minute or two just to spend on this. That's what I thought about him until I actually played him. And I picked him up and I thought, this guy's really fun to play, isn't he? I really can't find it in me to hate Rashid anymore unless I'm playing him. Rashid, I think, also belongs in A. I'd probably put her higher than Cami, honestly, or maybe even Marisa, depending on the day. I don't think he's going to win any Evo matches or anything like that, but he's still a very strong pick in my mind. And, you know, he might honestly drop down that tier list just because he's so fresh and new. People are still kind of getting accustomed to him from what I've been playing of him and the utility I've gotten out of him. I put him in A. And there you have it. There is my Street Fighter VI tier list as of now. We might update this when the other fighters come out, but whatever. This is the definitive one. This is the right one. Let me know what you think. You're wrong. I'm right. I'm out of breath. I feel like I need a drink of water and then I need to take a nap. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank you for watching. Bye.